Hi everybody, it's Carol in my art room today. So I'm going to do a cloudy effect again with some different colors. I'm going to try um, some different colors and see how they work out. I've mixed all my colors. I have, I can, you can see these, I have uh, True Blue, Deco Art Americana, Burnt Sienna, Santa Red, and Fuchsia. These two, Red and Fuchsia, I mixed together and made this nice color. So they're all mixed up. I've mixed them with a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and water. So I, the only one I haven't mixed up yet is the white. I'm just going to show you how that's done. I'll give this, this is the Deco Art Satin Enamel. And I only have beige. I can't turn this over right now, but I only have beige because every time I go to Michael's, they never have the white one. So I thought I, I've tried the beige in other two videos and they work, seem to work out not too bad. So this time I'm going to put, I actually did put a little bit, maybe a couple of stickfuls, one or one and a half stickfuls. I put it in the, um, I put it in the brown, which is burnt sienna, and I put it in some red. Did I put it in red? Or I put it in the yellow. Oh, I can't remember if I put it in the red. I think I might have. So it, I put it in a little bit in each color, except for the blue. Anyway, just to see. So I'm, you have to stir this up pretty good. So and then I you mix it with the Artist Loft Flow acrylic, which is Michael's brand, I think. So I'm, I have this little measuring cup. So I'm going to put in uh, one ounce in here. That's just about an ounce. Maybe a tinch more. And then I'm going to add this uh, deco art. So 50 50 for the white. There's the, can the jar. So I'm going to give this a good stir. And then you add the pouring medium. So I've got about two ounces in there. So I'm going to give it like two squirts. One, two. And that's pretty much all you need and in these other little paints there's only about an ounce I just did like one squirt in each so first mix your pouring medium and paint together then add your water that's the last thing you add so with the white you do the white and the satin enamel and then add your pouring medium and then your water. So I'm going to add my water. So 
So you want this a good little on the runnier side, um, more than other pores. So when you let it stream off your stick, it should not make a mound. That's a good stream. This would be if you did it a normal pour, like a flip cup or swipe or whatever. But I want it a little thinner for this technique. I know in my other ones I added a base coat, but you don't have to. This one I'm not gonna. This is only eight by 10. I wanted to try a smaller one first. And if it works out well, then I'll do a bigger one. A little more. That's pretty good. Maybe a tinch more. These other colors I mixed last night. Try and scrape your sides. pretty good now. Check my colors. There's my brown. I might have to give these a little stir and check them. up a lot because it's a small canvas. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty good now. I can tell when I stir. I've stirred this so much with these kind of sticks that I know the feeling of what I want. This felt a little on the thick side. You get used to it after a while. That's better. And this is a uh, burnt sienna mixed with the enamel. Made it a little bit lighter. All right, okay, so I'm going to use this cup. So I'm going to put, now which color do I have the most? Uh, I think I'll, I actually have more red and yellow. So I'm going to put red in the bottom, or should I put blue? I know what, I like the blue. I think I'll do, I don't have a lot, so. The blue in the bottom. And I'll just put in some of this. I need more water in this, I think.
Okay, so... <clears throat> I think I'll put in the brown. And then this pinky red. And then more of this. Uh, yellow, I haven't done the yellow yet. Ready pink color. Bird Sienna. That's enough of that. I think I'll put a little bit more of this. So that's three shots of this I've put in. That's probably enough. I've got lots of yellow left so I'll put some more yellow in. This is probably enough paint now. I like the blue, I should have made more blue. Oh. We'll see what it looks like. You never know what you're gonna get. You could use the same colors, the exact same order, everything the same, but it'll never look the same at the end. any more of this in. I'm just going to try and bend my cup a little. And here we go. I probably have way too much paint. I might just stop. We'll see.
Hi everybody, I came back to this um, uh, cloudy pour that is not cloudy. So this was a fail. So I'm going to try another one again and then maybe in a little bit. But I'm first, so I don't waste this paint, I really, really like balloon smashing spirals. They come out so awesome. So I'm going to balloon smash this. It's a good way not to waste the paint. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure why this didn't work, whether it was I put the enamel in more colors, maybe it wasn't thin enough, but uh, I'll redo it again. I'll do another one. It's trial and error. All right, so I got a balloon. And I will smash. I wish I, had, I could have another canvas that I could put it on, but I don't think so. With these lines, it makes it look really nice. So let's give this a whirl.
not bad. It probably would have been better with a bit less paint, but I'm just going to leave this. I'll hold it up for you. And that's what you can do with a spiral pour. It doesn't have to be a failed pour. You could just do a spiral pour and then do balloon on top. Just don't have it so thick on here. And uh, yeah, see what you get. All right. Come back soon to my art room. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, read the comments below. Um, join our Facebook group. There's a link in the description of our new group that we started, my sisters and myself. Dropping paint by Diane and art was art by Susan King. And uh, yeah, post some of your own art on there. Glad to see them. All right, so have a great day and uh, I'll post the uh, dried results at the end. All right, bye-bye. Hi everybody, here's the dried results of my balloon dip. It dried pretty good. Nice and smooth. Gotta love these balloon dips. Alright, come back soon to my art room. Bye bye.